everyone, it's Lucy from My Crazy Craft Life, and today I'm here with a design team post for Fairy Stamper. Today I'm going to be making this card. I am going to be using the Who Are You stamp, the Grass stamp, Azalea, Water Fountain, and Meadow Grass stamp. And I'm going to start out by stamping the azalea stamp and I'm going to stamp her just on a piece of paper and later on I'm going to go and use my scan and cut to cut her out. So I am going to be using, for some reason I could not find my fairy stamper ink and I looked everywhere for it and it was sitting right on top of my desk so how I missed that I don't know but instead I used some Memento Tuxedo Black ink to stamp azalea and like I said, I'm just going to pop that off to the side and then get started with some ink blending. Now I'm using a stencil from my stash and I am going to be using Broken China, Walnut Stain, Rustic Wilderness, and Salvaged Patina on here. And on the stencil, or when the stencil is on, I'm going to be using the Broken China and the Rustic Wilderness. And then when I remove the stencil, I'm going to kind of go off the whole thing, or over the whole thing, with the Walnut Stain and the Salvaged Patina. Now, I am not really caring if this is perfectly blended or if it's a little bit splotchy, because I want it to kind of look that way. And I also used some Pixie Spray to make sure that that stencil stayed on well. But then I'm just going over it lightly with the Walnut Stain and then with the Salvaged Patina. And I'm just going to kind of really blend all of that color together. So my goal was to try to get kind of like the grass or the bottom half of the card and then the blue was going to be the sky or something like that. So that's kind of the visual I was going for. Then I'm going to take the water fountain stamp and I'm going to stamp it off to the right of the card base, or I'm sorry, the card panel. And originally I used a lighter gray that I had in my stash and that was, I don't know if it was dried out or what the case was, but I ended up going to charcoal and that worked better. And I'm going to stamp the water fountain with that. And I stamp it multiple times because, again, these are older little ink cubes and they just don't have a lot of ink in them. So I had to stamp it quite a few times to get the color where I wanted it. And to make sure I had a nice, clean, crisp image. Particularly when you're working on top of Distress Inks, it's going to add in or kind of absorb some of that color from the Distress Oxides. So then I'm going to take the grass and I am using another olive ink cube from Your Next Stamp and I'm just going to stamp some grass around the bottom of the water fountain. And then I'm also going to bring in a Lawn Fawn Green Grass ink cube and stamp some more grass kind of, like I said, just in the different colors along the bottom of the water fountain. And again, this, I'm not looking for this to be perfect because, again, I use the stencil with the background. I just want it to have a particular visual is more what I was looking for. Then I took some alcohol markers, and I have a 120 set of Ohuhu. And I took three blues from a light to a dark. And I am just going to color in all of the water. Now, after I finish coloring this in, in the center areas, I'm going to use the darker blue. In the middle, mid-range areas, I'm going to use the middle blue. And on the outlying areas, I'm using the lightest blue. But I went over the entire thing with the light so that it blended better and easier once I added everything else to it. Now, after I get finished adding the water and I'm happy with how that looks, and there's no fancy coloring in here whatsoever, but... I went over it with a white gel pen just to give it kind of the foam that you see when you see water running and the bubbles and the ripples and that type of thing and so then I will go over that. 
The other thing I did was I just took a very dark green and I kind of went around the bottom of the fountain where a lot of the like it looks leafy or that there might be some algae growing on there or something. And then I also used the dark green over the black stamping, but where the leaves are kind of poking out up, you know, going up the water fountain. And so that will kind of finish up that area there. As you're watching this, you can make sure that you hit the subscribe button. Um, make sure you check out the Fairy, uh, Fairy Stamper Facebook page or Fairy Stamper Hugs. Facebook page so that you can check out all of the new things that are coming out and all the amazing projects by the design team because they have some really awesome projects and techniques that everybody uses and they're just a lot of fun to see. Then I'm also just going to take a pink and a yellow alcohol marker and fill in the wings for azalea and then I'm just going to use the yellow for all of the kind of slit areas that you want to show through but I didn't want them white and then I used pink for the little flowers in her hair and then after I cut it out with my scan and cut I'm just taking a black marker and I'm going around the edges so that it's completely black and you don't see the white then I'm also going to use a little bit of Distress Oxide ink just in those real stark white areas. All I, I'm not adding any ink to it or doing anything like that. I'm just taking the brush that I used and I'm just going to brush over it a little bit. Now one thing you have to be careful about is if you do that you may end up muddying your stamp and making it a little less black but you can also kind of wipe that off just with a towel or something and that will kind of help that but again I just didn't want it that stark white so now I'm going to heat emboss the sentiment onto the panel and it says don't wish to be anything but who you are and I am going to use some unicorn white pigment ink cube and then I'm going to use some white embossing powder on that. Now while I'm doing this I do have my heat gun running or my heat tool because I want to make sure that that gets nice and hot before I start to use it on the embossing powder so that it doesn't warp the paper too much. And I'm just going to heat that up and then I'm going to bring in the paper trimmer because I am going to trim this panel down because it's going to be an A2 size card and I want a little bit of a border on there so I'm going to trim it down to four inches by five and a quarter and the card base itself is four and a quarter inches by five and a half. Now I'm going to take the meadow grass and I'm going to use that olive ink cube again and I'm just going to kind of put that all into the top. Now I'm only doing part of the stamp because I don't want all of the long pieces necessarily going down into everything. So I'm kind of piecing it together as I go, de dependent on where I want the, the meadow grass kind of to fall or to flow. And then I wipe it off and then I'm going to add some of the longer ones to some of the areas that I have open that I can add the longer ones to. So I'm just going to kind of play around with that until it's to the point where I like it. And so once I'm finished up with that, I am going to take both the Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pen and the Nouveau Sparkle Pen because I am using both of them. I think that for me, I believe the Nouveau one has a little bit more of a shimmery, silvery look to it, even though it says it's clear. And the Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pen, I do believe, is a clearer version just with the sparkle. Um, I, I don't know. That's just kind of how I see it and what I think. And I'm going to use the Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pen all over the water fountain so that I can get some of that water sparkling on that water fountain. And then the Nouveau one, I am using the... On, to, on the fairy just because like I said it gives it that little more silvery look to it. Now I'm taking some one inch tape and I'm going to put it all over the back of the card panel because I want it to really stay there and use between using distress inks and all of this um, not stamping but the um, 
heat embossing and stuff, I want to make sure that it stays nice and flat on there because I'm going to be popping up Azalea on top of that water fountain so that she kind of really stands out there and she's kind of wondering to herself what she should do and in the end you should always be who you are. So that will pretty much be it for me today. I want to thank everybody for joining me. Again, make sure you hit subscribe on the YouTube channel for Fairy Stamper. And also check out the Facebook pages. If you want to see something in particular, make sure you let us know. There's kind of a close-up. You can see all that shimmer and sparkle. And again, thanks for joining me. Take care, everybody. Have a great day.